Hey guys, how's it going? Mark from Double Clutch Auto Reviews here. Thank you again for tuning in for another how-to video. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint the diffuser on your car. This is my 1990 Miata. As you can see, the diffuser on it is not looking all that great. The finish is faded, really needs a good paint job, so let's take care of it. You can see it looks even worse on this part of the diffuser on the other side of the exhaust. And for this job, you're not going to need many tools at all. You're going to need a jack and some jack stands to get the car off, off the ground and make your life a little easier getting the diffuser off. Obviously, you want to jack up the car safely. You're also going to need some tools to remove the old hardware and I also have some brand new hardware that I got from the hardware store. We're going to use some sandpaper to sand down the diffuser before painting, and then some alcohol to prep it, and of course the paint, which will be a gloss black paint and primer and a clear coat. So to start, we're going to jack up the car right here, make our lives a little easier getting access to the diffuser. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and good. Slide the jack stand right under here, raise it up a smidge and then lower the car down safely. Perfect. It won't hurt to chalk the wheels either for that extra margin of safety. So now using my little Z creeper, we can come right underneath the car. Looking at this part of the diffuser, I have a nut and bolt here and a plastic trim piece holding in this part. And looking at the rest of the diffuser, I have one bolt holding that part in, nothing holding this part in, and a couple more plastic trim pieces holding in the rest of it. And these are actually a lot more difficult to get off than I thought they would be. I had to get a pair of vice grips and a socket screwdriver to get off the rusted bolt. And then I had to get a pair of needle nose pliers to rip out that plastic trim piece. And now I'll move on to the bigger part of the diffuser, which will hopefully be easier than that. All right. And first off, I'm going to clean these two pieces because these things are dirty. Let's get all this excess dirt off before we start the sanding process. All right, so now that these two pieces are clean and dry, we're going to sand them down and prepare them for paint. And for this, I'm going to be using 400 grit all the way up to 2500 grit. And obviously, I'm going to be focusing on the visible part of the diffuser. I'm not going to sand down the inside. To sand these properly, it'll take some time, so be patient. And of course, be prepared to get a little dirty. And now that we've gotten these sanded down as much as we reasonably can, now it's time to prep them for paint. Some isopropyl alcohol and paper towels will suffice. Clean them thoroughly as preparation is the most important part of painting. And if you're going through all this effort to make your diffuser look nicer, you might as well do it right. You should clean these well enough so you can wipe them with a brand new paper towel and you don't see any dirt coming off. And now that these are both clean and dry, I'm gonna start by painting the underside of the diffuser. This is because this is the less visible part of the diffuser and I'm not as worried about minor imperfections that people probably won't see anyway. My main focus is going to be the part that people are going to see when they walk by the car. We'll start by giving the underside of the diffuser three coats of the paint and primer gloss black. Make sure to hit it from multiple angles to get complete coverage. Hold the can about one foot away from the diffuser when you're painting, sweeping side to side, never starting or stopping on the actual diffuser. Go across the whole length to make sure you get a nice even coat. We're gonna wait at least a few minutes in between coats. After three coats, we're gonna flip the diffuser over and do the top side. Using the same painting technique as I showed you before, I'm now holding the diffuser in my hand to make sure I get a nice even coat and don't get any drips on the outside of the diffuser. Also, if you're gonna do this, do this in a well-ventilated area and make sure you use proper protection. Don't be an idiot like me and get spray paint all over your hands like this. In between coats, I'm letting the diffuser rest gently on my tripod so it doesn't touch the grass and get any imperfections in the paint. And after three nice coats, I'm going to set it down on cardboard in my shed and let it dry overnight. All right, guys, today's a lovely new morning, and we're going to put the painted diffuser back on the Miata. While you have the diffuser off of the bumper, you might as well clean the underside of it, so get some detailing spray and wipe that down. And now that we have the diffuser out, let's climb underneath and put it back on the car. We're also going to be installing some brand new hardware, so it looks really nice and stays on there tight. And for the new hardware, it needs an 8mm socket, and we're using this screwdriver with the bit attached and the vice grips. Right, and that is on there and looking good. Moving on to the next part of the diffuser, the big part. I'm going to put the ends on first, get it lined up, and then bolt the rest of the bolts on. All right, and now I'll put on the bolts one by one, get them all hand tight first, and then I'm gonna wrench tighten them down and finish this up. Some of them are a little tough to get in there, but have some faith and it'll work. All right, now that they're all in place, let's tighten them all up. Here we go. All right, so this is what it looks like underneath the car. Not all of them are super tight. Some of them are hand tight, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not going a million miles an hour in this thing. So I think these will hold perfectly fine. All right, guys, now that we're all done and everything's out from underneath the car, check this out. I think this came out awesome. It's nowhere near perfect. I didn't have a perfect painting surface to begin with, but I mean, come on, you cannot deny it. that looks way better than it did before. Might have to fix this fitment right here if I can, but 
Other than that, this looks great. I'm super happy with how it came out. Especially at this angle, just look at it. That looks way better. I'm very happy. This will be great. I'm going to a car show this morning. I'm going to flex on all those Lambos. Now we just have to do something about that exhaust, huh? Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.